It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, I am going back to music today from the anime tradition, and specifically, I'm going to hear more music from composer Hiroyuki Sawano, and I'm pumped to come back to him. Today, we're going to hear Unicorn from the Mobile Suit Gundam original soundtrack. So I have heard music from Hiroyuki Sawano twice previously on the channel, but both of those episodes were dedicated to music from the Attack on Titan series. So our friend Estrone today has suggested that we go back to music from Sawano, but we do it from the Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn original soundtrack. And I'm excited to hear what his music in a different uh, situation, in a different series, sounds like. Uh, I did a lot of reading in today, and this Mobile Suit Gundam franchise is pretty massive. Y'all, uh, the Mobile Suit Gundam was first released in 1979 as an anime television series, and it has since gone on to spawn numerous sequels and spin-offs, including a new anime series, a novel, multiple films, a manga series, and several video games and several original soundtrack albums. So this original soundtrack was released in 2010, and it was followed by three more full soundtrack albums with music all composed by Hiroyuki Sawano. He's a busy guy, isn't he? So Estrone suggested that I listen to the overture, which is called Unicorn, and he says that it introduces many of the main themes that Sawano was going to utilize throughout the soundtrack, and that this leans a bit more into a classical sound, which I think is going to be cool, but he says it's assertive and triumphant with brass, ascendant woodwinds, and manic strings. So let's hear it, y'all. This is going to be fun. I don't think there's any lyrics in this selection, uh, because I didn't find any. <laughs> so let's see what Unicorn by Hiroyuki Sawano is all about. Here we go. Ah! Lead horn line that reminds me of the Jupiter theme from Holst. Brighten their heroic range right off the bat with big drums. Lovely. Right up the scale. He's going here. Um, um, um. There's a B flat to the A. New key. That becomes a B natural. And he's back to E minor. Five six five seven one. He's moving harmonically by step a lot of times here. Lovely orchestrations. New key again. Stay there. I think he 
landed on an A. It's interesting rhythm in the drum. Still an A. Beautiful counter melodies. Six, seven, one. Is he an E or an A? Going back and forth. Boy, he wanted to really land on that last chord, but he never gave it to you. He never gave you the stable tonic chord at the end. It shifted all around it and it ended suspended, meaning the story's not done, which is a great little uh, compositional thing to use, especially with uh, an overture, meaning it's an introduction. Uh, welcome to the story, things are gonna start happening, and you end it with a suspended chord. That's fun, y'all. Throughout that, I didn't know whether he was in like A minor or E minor, and um, and occasionally he was using some, I think he was in G minor for a bit because there were B flats in there. And I kept hearing differences between the B flat and the B natural. <laughs> and when he got to the B natural, it was five to E. And when he was using a B flat, I don't know where he was, but, uh, Wow, it's a great sound. And the thing that I love about this uh, style of music, what I've heard so far, is that they seem to be relying on real musicians and real instruments. That sounds absolutely real to me as an orchestra. If that was, um, if that was synthesized digitally, then uh, boy, uh, <laughs> it's an amazing accomplishment. But that sounded real to me, y'all. And the thing that I love about the orchestration is that he's big and full with it when he needs to be, but it backs off and the textures change. If you were to write a piece that's that long, let's say between four and five minutes, and stay... Uh, full orchestra the entire time, it's going to tire out our, our, our ears just a little bit because it's a lot of, of information and a big amount of sound for us to deal with. So the best thing to do is to, is to state your themes and to change up the, the textures of the orchestra so that not everybody is playing all the time. In fact, relatively seldom should everybody be playing at once as far as what uh i have learned and and uh, what i think about orchestration you know uh, there's uh, when you've got the entire orchestra playing it sounds like a full orchestra and so you lose uh a lot of the color in the combinations that the orchestra can have so by by dialing back that texture we can hear the strings come out we can hear some piano come in we can hear the flutes and the woodwinds ripping through and we can now then feel the brass and the drums when everything comes in and it makes for a really immersive experience really really fun um as i was reading in here y'all the mobile suit gundam franchise continues to be successful and active even today i'm filming this in late february of 2024 and just last month a new movie 
in this series was released. It's called Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom. It was released in late January, and it's already the highest grossing film in the Gundam franchise. So they're still uh, going uh, guns blazing, y'all, and and really putting out a lot of 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 stuff uh, for us to to work with and to hear. So that was a lot of fun to hear. Uh, this music from Hiroyuki Sawano. It's Unicorn. It's from the Mobile Suit Gundam original soundtrack. Maybe I'll get into some more uh, from this. You never know, but I love hearing from all of y'all telling me, you got to get into this, you got to get into that, and keep sending them my way, and I will try to get them on the channel. My thanks to Estrone for today's suggestion, and you never know what I'm going to do next week. So keep staying tuned, y'all. That's all for today, and we'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.